Today we are sewing the ginger squirt by Samantha Marie Design. Okay, so we've got our shorts front and back. These are all, all going to be cut opposites. So you're going to end up with two fronts, two backs. The way I like to do this is actually to cut on the fold. And I'll show an example of that next. But basically, I've got my fabric folded. I make my cut. Instead of leaving it on the fold, I do cut right there. So then I end up with both of my pieces in one cut. And I've got my ties. And you're going to have two of those. And then my skirt, I'm doing the curved hem skirt, and you're going to have um, opposites of those as well. I do the same thing, cut on the fold, um, but actually cut it. Don't actually leave it on the fold. Um, and that, those are all of our pieces. Pretty simple. And we'll get started with our first step. Okay, so step one, we are going to prep our ties. So you're going to have your fabric right side up. For me, it doesn't really matter. It's not really directional. We're gonna do right side up, and then you are going to fold your tie piece in half. And then once you've got it folded in half, you're gonna surge down the long side and um, the, the diagonal part. So you'll surge that close, you'll just have the end open, um, and your end will be going, will be finished off because it's going inside the seams. So you don't need to worry about that. So we'll just surge those ends and we'll come back for our next step. So I just wanted to show you, I surged all the way down and then I go ahead and stop it and then I surge down the other side. So you can kind of see how that works. And there's your one strap sewn on the long side and then on the little diagonal. Okay, so now when I turn these right side out, I just take, this is like a chopstick. Um, they do make some turners that make it easy. But I just kind of take a chopstick, I stick it in this bottom part and just kind of push up and it turns it really easily. And then just make sure you get that corner pushed out so you still have that same shape for your um, for your tie and there is your first strap and you'll do the same thing with your second one if you want to you can top stitch along that bottom seam that we sewed so that um, it stays nice and flat for you and you can go ahead and press that so it stays nice and flat too okay so now we are going to work on the skirt so we've got our main and our lining if yours are two different fabrics you'll just want to make sure you've got main on bottom and then you put your lining on top we're going to take one of our straps and we are going to put it in the upper right hand corner so at the very top and then we are going to line up our lining fabric just right on top and then we are going to surge along the top and along the curved edge of the bottom. Um, we want to make sure that we catch this strap in the corner, but we don't want to sew it on top. So it's just catching just in this corner on the side. So we will go run that through and show you what it looks like. And an easy way to make this stay so that you are making sure that it catches where it's supposed to is put a basting stitch. So all that is, is we're just going to use the regular sewing machine. Just put a quick stitch right here. So then when we run it through the serger, it isn't going to move. Okay, so here you can see I am surging along the top. And I am leaving just a tiny bit at the top so that I have enough seam allowance to um, serge without catching my strap in there. Okay, and now surging the curved edge, we just want to make sure that we catch that whole strap in um, between our main and our lining. Surge all the way around that curve, just to that bottom edge. Make sure you don't catch your strap. So this is what your skirt will look like once you've got that surged all along the top, all along the side, and then you've got your strap that will be sticking out the top. Mm. Now we can flip this right side out. We'll just go ahead and shake it. So we've got it the right way out. You can top stitch if you would like along the seams. So along your top seam and along this bottom seam. 
Um, I think I am going to. I'm using a mesh for mine for this one, um, and it does move quite a bit. So I'm going to go ahead and top stitch just so that it kind of stays a little bit more neat for me. Okay, so I just wanted to show when I top stitch, what I'm doing is I am just getting it so that the seam is um, just at the very top, just that seam allowance. And then I'm just placing just a single normal stitch on my sew regular sewing machine, just all the way down and then around that curved edge. And that's gonna be um, all I do for that, really simple. When I'm top stitching, um, so I already did the top. Now I'm going to go down the curved side. When I am at a point where I want to turn, what I usually do is I leave my needle down and then I go ahead and raise um, the presser foot and then I turn my fabric the direction I'm gonna wanna be sewing, go ahead and push it back down, and then I can go ahead and continue on and I'm not gonna have, like, I'm not gonna be able to see where I started and stopped on that edge. And now I didn't do the ruffle, but if we were doing the ruffle, you would have wanted to sandwich that um, before we flipped that right side out. Um, you would basically, so you'd have your mane, you'd have your strap, you'd have your ruffle, and then your lining on top of everything. Um, if we want an example of that, let me know. We'll make another video. And then just one more reminder that we are leaving this left side of our skirt open. So this is our skirt for now, and we will move on to the shorts. Okay, moving on to shorts. We're going to have our shorts fronts and our shorts back. And the way I tell the difference um, between the front and the back, if you lay these on top of each other um, at the crotch seam, you are going to see that the front is going to be lower than the back. So the one that's going to be higher is your back piece. It goes up over the bum, and this is going to be your front. So what we're going to do is take our fronts um, right sides together and sew the crotch seam so we don't get confused yeah so the crotch seam same with your back sew the back seam and um, then we'll put those together but let's go to that point and we'll come back okay so we've got our back and our front short we are going to line up the crotch seams so I just line that up in the middle I pin right here and then we are going to su surge um, or sew that crotch curve right there and we will come back and show you the next step. Okay, so we've got our crotch curve sewn. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open these up. So we've got the backs and the front of our shorts. Looks a little funny, but it'll come along, don't worry. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is you're gonna wanna measure down one and a half inches. So one and a half, I'm just gonna go ahead and scoot this over so I can place my tie and be able to see it a little bit easier. So one and a half inches and then I'm going to place my other tie right here. Go ahead and pin that. Let me grab a pin really quick. Okay, go ahead and pin that at one and a half inches and then we can go ahead and move this away. And then what we're gonna do is, so you can kind of visualize here, this edge is going to be sewn to this edge and create our shorts. So what we're going to be doing basically is this top part is going to be our waistband um, and we're going to have one inch elastic for that, which I'll show you here in a second. So you're going to, what we're going to be doing is putting our tie and then our skirt. So our, our, our skirt will actually tie right there. And then we're going to be flipping these over and sewing down the sides to create our short. Um, but for right now, we're gonna take the skirt out. We're not gonna add that quite yet. We're just gonna focus on this left side and we are going to flip our strap back in. We've got it marked down one and a half inches. We're going to lay the shorts right side together and sew down this side. So now this leg is finished. We are gonna go ahead and hem this. We are going to hem it with a half inch seam allowance. So you can fold that up a half inch towards the inside and then go ahead and hem that, um, your favorite method. Um, I just use my regular sewing machine. If you have a cover stitch, you can use that as well. So we've got um, our leg hemmed. We're gonna go ahead and hem the other side as well. This one isn't closed yet, but do the same thing. Go ahead and fold it up half inch 
hem all the way around. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and prepare our elastic. Um, make sure you check on the size chart. Mine's 18 inches because I'm doing a 2T. I'm gonna fold it in half and place a pin right there to quarter. Well, so this is gonna be half and then we're gonna quarter. So then I'm gonna fold one side in to my pin and place a pin right there. This just helps us so that then we, when we go to attach the elastic, um, we can make sure that it is um, stretching evenly so we don't end up with any wonkiness when we um, put our shorts on, put our skirt on. Okay, so now you're gonna take your shorts. We're gonna attach the elastic to the wrong side, so on the outside of our shorts. So the edge of the elastic is gonna go on each edge, open edge of our skirt. So I'm gonna start on the front and go ahead and place a pin just right at the front. Our next pin on the elastic is going to be the middle seam of the front of the shorts. Go ahead and place that. Our next pin is the side of our shorts. Our next pin is the back middle seam of our shorts. And then the end is going to go to the end. Go ahead and place a pin there as well. Okay, so now you've got all of your pins. This is kind of what you're looking at. All of the stuff in the middle, we're gonna stretch between the pins like this so that when we um, surge it, it's gonna stretch with our fabric, with the elastic. Um, and then we will have our waistband. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this so you guys can kind of see while I am surging it. So we are going to go ahead and get this ready, place um, this top part under our serger, under the presser foot, go ahead and press that down. I'm gonna hold this in place with this hand to kind of guide it through so our elastic doesn't move. And then we can go ahead and stretch with this hand while we're surging. Sorry, my hand's gonna get it, kind of be in the way. We're gonna stretch with our other hand while we surge. I'll go ahead and I'll kind of put my arm up like this so we can see a little bit better. When you get to that pin, you're gonna wanna move it so that we're not running them over. I've done that a lot of times. And then we're gonna move on to our next pin. Stretch. And so to our next pin, same thing. Take our pin out and just keep on going. Stretch and surge. Make sure you're catching the edge of your fabric. and surge. When you get to the end, you're just gonna wanna make sure you keep kind of holding that so that it will go all the way to the end. Okay, I'll show you what it looks like now. All right, so now that we've got the elastic sewn on, all you're gonna do is flip it down just one time and then we're gonna top stitch all the way around. So just where you have your surging, top stitch all the way around, and that's going to create our elastic waistband. Okay, so we've got that top stitch. Now you can see we've got like almost like your elastic casing. Um, not really casing, but same idea. And now we are going to um, attach our skirt. So we've got this side that is still open, and then we've got our skirt. So the instructions say we are going to match the right side of the skirt with the right side of the back. So you've got, if you have, if you have, um, mine's the same fabric, but if you're doing different, you're going to want to make sure you match the right side of your skirt with the right side of the back of the shorts. So just kind of keep that in mind. And we're going to um, line those up. Another kind of easy way that you're going to be able to see 
um, where it's going is because we've already got our tie right here. So the other tie is going to be um, close to that tie because when we put them on, the ties are going to go together. Um, and then the we're going to match the right side of the shorts, so the inside of our front of our shorts, with the wrong side of the skirt. So like this. And we are going to just line everything up. Sorry, it's kind of tricky with my one hand, but line everything up and go ahead and serge down your seam. And that is going to be your squirt. So I'll show you the completed project product. Okay, we've got our finished ginger squirt. So cute. And I will show you some modeled pictures next. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. And make sure you use Winx 15 when you're buying your modeled bags. photos are paired with the Thanks. Isla Leo. And then we've got our ginger squirt. Make sure to share your makes on the Samantha Marie Design social page.